Hey guys, Spartan from SpartanTrading.com. I want to hit you guys with a quick educational video, and in this one I want to talk about short selling and how you can stay in short trades longer. Now, if you're in this market or trading within this market, I'm sure you've recognized there's a lot of short opportunities. When we do trade off to the downside, when you look at it in hindsight, you may go, wow, why did I cover that position? I shouldn't have got out. It's obvious that that thing was trending to the downside, yet you get shaken out of the trade while you're short. Now, the main way that you can stay in short trades longer is by flipping to a larger time frame. If you find that these little consolidative patterns are getting you um, shaken out of your trade, then if you simply flip to a longer time frame, let's say I went to one from a 10 minute, or in this case, let's say I was on a one minute chart, and I went from a one minute, which you know you can hear it looks like, okay, downtrend's broken, there's you know plenty of reason to get out, and I flip to a 15 minute chart on the SPY, you see that in hindsight, there's really no reason to cover. You have no candles closing above EMA support. The trend's intact and it looks like it's just gonna to continue to go lower. Short selling, guys, is more linear for the most part. Short selling typically lasts longer because fear is a lot more powerful emotion than greed. And you tend to get, especially on the algorithm side, um, continuous algorithmic selling that happens throughout the entire day. When the market's breaking down, breaking through all these support levels, you can expect those algorithms to continue to sell off or to unload you know, large amounts of shares, but there are periods where they do pause. And on those periods where they do pause, you do tend to get some buyers coming in. And you can see these little pops here. But what you wanna look for actual reversals is candles closing above EMA supports. Like you could use you know, like a 20 uh, EMA or 20 SMA, something like that intraday <laughs> if you wanted to, or just an actual trend line break on a larger time frame. If you're looking at the market, I tend to use the 15 minute chart, it works the best. Big caps, 10 minute. And you'll see that you'll stay in these short positions a lot longer, guys, both on the put side and both on the equity side. So this is a little tip and trick for you guys. Hopefully it helps. It certainly does help the members in the room as well as myself uh, stay in these positions longer. If you have any questions, you go to sparktrain.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good one.